Hey guys, this is JackSpot from Windows Phone Hacker, and today I'm going to show you something I've been working on for a quite some time now, and I'm really happy with the way it's come out. Um, many of you know I was the maker of the first, actually the first, Windows Phone 7 theme for Windows Mobile, and it was a nice little simple standalone app, but there were a couple of things about it that I didn't really like. The performance was decent at best, and the really a lot of the features were sort of buggy and not easy to use um, but despite this it did gain some popularity which encouraged me to actually do a complete rewrite of the application so about 95 percent of this version of the app has been completely rewritten uh, which includes a dynamic tile engine as you can see here I have kinetic scrolling and I'll show you how to customize it in a minute and then a lot of the hubs have been reworked and a lot of the Facebook integration is much much better now so I'm going to go ahead and start out and just go down the order. So first off, you have your phone hub, which of course displays your missed calls. And you can tap on it to access the phone functions. Then there is, of course, the people hub, which right now is just displaying white checkered boards to sort of signify that you could have contacts being displayed here, but they're not enabled at the moment. So just to show through here, um, there, of course, is all of my contacts that I can spring through and it says I'm not on any social networks at this time. So I'll go ahead and go back to the start place. Um, and here I am. Oops. Um, and then of course I have text which takes me directly into, into HTC messaging. I have Outlook which takes me to email which I don't actually have any email accounts set up at this time. And pictures, if I since I do not actually have a working pictures hub for the HD2's pictures because the HD2 takes pictures at a resolution that the .NET framework is actually not able to load into memory. It's sort of a complicated reason but basically because of this this takes you directly into HTC's nice camera shots menu. You can scroll through, click on them, pinch to zoom and all that good stuff. Uh, so I decided instead of reinventing the wheel just to link directly into there and of course I have my Xbox Live Hub which is pretty much the same as the original hub um, and I can go ahead and add a game real quick since I haven't already and it's a lot simpler to do this now I tap on the icon I select what I want in this case I'll choose um, Teeter should be somewhere in this list there it is click select, screw through this list of uh, pre-installed icons that I obtained from a thread on XDA developers. Uh, special thanks to the artist for that. There'll be a link uh, for his credit in the thread uh, of this video. Um, and let me find the teeter. There we go. You can see the icon right there. I click add and there it is right here along with a couple other things that I must have added earlier and not loaded in so I'll go to teeter and sure enough there we are right in the middle of the game so I'll go ahead and close that and go back to the hub and go back to the home screen and over here I also have the office hub which I can dig into and it gives me options to create Word, PowerPoint, or Excel documents just nice quick links then it also feeds in all of my note files from the default note application and displays the most recent ones in a nice sort of metro UI style right there under notes. So if you take a lot of notes with the default application, you'll find that useful. Um, another thing that has been completely changed in this version of the application is the start launcher. Um, over here, the list is completely dynamic now. You add in your own icons which I can show you in a second alright sorry about that I accidentally bumped the wrong button but over here in the start menu list I have a nice kinetic list of all my applications that I've added to the list such as the camera application and IE mobile and the all all programs actually is not supposed to be listed twice uh, that is a glitch it'll be fixed in the version that you download so don't worry about that um, but of course just nice and simple I tap on them and it takes me to the application nothing fancy but you can add in your own applications fairly easily which I'll get to when I start talking about customization um, so I've also reworked the lock screen which I released as a separate, a separate application 
and you can see here um, nice kinetic scrolling right over your current application much smoother than the previous version I can just swipe up and it unlocks it, it takes me right back to what I was doing and um, I've also reworked the notification system with this and um, I'm gonna go ahead and send a text message to the device and show you what it looks like alright and there we go it's maybe a little bit hard to see in the video but the current screen is frozen with a nice little message that says one new message that comes down and sort of bounces into the screen and you can ignore it by tapping anywhere on the screen or you can touch it and it'll take you directly over to the message like so um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and show you the customization of the application alright so here we are back at the home screen and really I designed this for you to be able to rearrange tiles exactly as you would want to so basically it's a lot like Windows Phone 7 you hold down and you can move them around by clicking the arrow buttons and then you hit the check mark to, check mark to save their position um, there's a couple of tiles that are a little bit more difficult to move around such as the pictures tile because it takes up more space but you can still move it up and down um, and then to go ahead and add a tile to your home screen you just hold down on a blank space press the add button you have a couple of different options that I'll dig into a little bit later when we have uh, more when I have the Facebook integration enabled um, but you can also add a contact which you can go through and choose through your list or you can add a website which I will demonstrate real quick I'll go ahead and add the Windows Phone Hacker website okay so I have it entered in here um, I got the title of the website and the URL and so then I just click pen and it will load up the website in Internet Explorer uh, Pocket Internet Explorer and uh, it'll give it a few seconds to fully load up and then it will snap a screenshot of it um, of course it's a sort of a mobile view of the website but it gives you sort of an idea of what website it is you're going and there it is and I can click on this and it will take me right into the browser where I can view the website uh, as so So we'll go ahead and minimize this. So there's the customization for the home screen. Uh, now if I want to add something to the start menu or remove something, all right, so to access the controls here, I simply hold down on part of the screen. And this little menu bar appears on the bottom like most of the hubs do and to delete something I simply click on the trash can icon and then click on what I want to delete for example the extra all programs icon and then to add something I can click the check mark button and it gives me an option for the path so I'll go ahead and see what's in my start menu um, and I'll go ahead and go with um, Anubidac or however that's pronounced and so and then I enter the caption of the program and note that this is just the default HTC keyboard if you want a Windows Phone 7 themed keyboard you can download themes for the Windows Phone 7 I mean for the HTC keyboard or the swipe keyboard that will theme it exactly like the Windows Phone 7 keyboard um, so after I have the name in, then I simply click on the icon I want for it. I'll use this one because I guess it sort of looks like a pocket translator. And then I click on the check mark button and it adds it directly into the list. And actually, next time I restart the application, it will be pushed up to the top of the list. So that's nice. As you can see, I click on it, it takes me directly into that application. So um, now I'm going to go ahead and enable Facebook integration, which is really what makes part makes this theme stand out from among the rest uh, because sure you can get a skin for advanced desktop or point UI or whatever but really this one is standalone and designed so that it can be built onto and to integrate with other services to give not only the look of Windows Phone 7 but the feel so I'm gonna go ahead and go into settings right here and click enable Facebook press save and then I'm gonna close the application to restart it 
Alright, so here's the home screen with Facebook enabled, as you can see with the nice little Facebook icon fading in and out. I'm going to give it a few seconds to load up, because uh, it does take a little bit for it to download all the information from the Facebook server. Alright, so there we go. Uh, the People in Hub now has the last five recent posters onto Facebook uh, that fade in and out on the tile, and it'll update every couple of minutes. So you can see really who's talking on Facebook and what's going on. And of course I can dig into that hub and swipe over and it will display everyone who's been talking. Uh, looks like Oreo said something and a few other things. I can also click on these posts and it has the comments. I can add a comment or I can like the post like that. So pretty cool. Nice Facebook integration. Um, there's still a lot I would like to add to it, but it's pretty good for the alpha version of this program. Going back to the home screen, um, under pictures, when I load this up now, it'll have the background picture as my latest uh, Facebook upload, which happens to be a picture of my computer from when I was testing this application. Um, and then it has all of my Facebook albums displayed over here off to the side with their titles on them. And I still want to work on this list, but it's pretty good considering what it is and I can click onto this one uh, which should be on mobile uploads and there we go this, there's still a couple of things I need to add and I have several plans for this application but really I hope you enjoy this new refresh of the Jackspot's Windows Phone 7 theme for the HTC HD2 thanks for watching you can download this in the link in the video